Hello friends, uh, in this video I want to share some of my own experience with what it's like to basically uh, live a life uh, in a meditative style. And before I begin, I just want you to know that uh, it's not something that can happen by force, okay? And it's just, it's like, it's the time when the universe wants you to go through this stage. Whether it can be through some different, different reasons, but... Uh, don't try to force yourself to to basically try to live like that because uh, the true essence of meditation is not about forcing yourself. It's about allowing it, um, that level of consciousness to grow on its own without you pushing through your mind and uh, waiting for your right time for this to happen. Um, okay, so let's begin. So... <clears throat> Mostly people, uh, they uh, meditate by just uh, saying, okay, we need to uh, sit down for like half an hour and then they close their eyes, which is fine, by the way. But if you think about it, it's not something that you can force by just giving it a time frame. Okay, this hour or this minutes, I need to meditate. Because the true purpose of meditation from my own uh, perspective is that it's about it's about flowing in a state of consciousness without any resistance. It's about not trying to argue with what's going on in this world. It's about not trying to reason your way out of it or not, not trying to judge things as much as possible. So basically, meditation is is uh, opposite of resistance, and uh, the essence is basically allowing the energy to flow through your whole body, whether it's through your all the uh, energy meridians in your body, so that the energy can just freely flow through, and not just flowing within the body, also outside of your body using the universal consciousness to flow through your body, your vessel. And uh, surrender, acceptance, and all the spiritual practices, whatever it is, you know, the essence is basically non-resistance. So, if you say, then how to do it, basically? Uh, well, it's not something you can do, it's something that happens. Uh, what you can do is you can be aware where you are putting resistance so that you can pull yourself out from it. For example, you went through your whole day, you know, and you met with so many resistances. Maybe your work is not going good. Or maybe you are having some issues and problems and stresses. Every time you feel a stress, just realize that this is not meditation. This is something that's not shouldn't be there in the first place. And acknowledging it, that it's resistance. It's really difficult to live a life in a meditative style. Seriously, I mean, you have to li literally just uh, take a break from your work and just spend your holidays just surrendering and loving it. <laughs> That's impossible unless you're pretty damn sick and you have no other choice but to do that. So in short, my friend, it's basically just living your life without judging things. You don't have to sit for hours or for minutes in a sitting position and close your eyes and just focus on your breath or focus on particular um, mantra, you know, chanting or particular some spiritual, religious, crazy um, act. It's, it's living. It's a lifestyle. It's the art of living. Meditation is basically the art of living. As long as you are conscious, as long as you are awake. From the moment you wake up till the moment you go to sleep, you can meditate throughout the time, 24-7. And you can also work. You can see meditation practices where people, they just do some menial tasks, you know, just washing clothes or uh, very simple tasks like washing, cleaning clothes, uh, cooking, uh, gardening, uh, hiking. All these activities are basically uh, a tool to give you that meditative state where your mind is basically not uh, trying to figure it out like what is going on, why this is happening, what's going on in my life. If you're studying, then study without trying to 
read somewhere or just try to get somewhere or get something and then you you know all the the, the thinking that comes with the process of the action work so in its core meditation is life okay you cannot say this is meditation and this is me this hour i'm going to meditate and this hour i'm going to work or i'm going to use meditation to boost my energy level and work no it doesn't work like that meditation is life and anything that you do away from meditation is opposite of it in other words you can say that you are already in a meditative state from the moment you were born when you were a small kid you meditate you don't think too much for almost one to two years you breathe from your belly diaphragmatic breathing you just observe things you live in a meditative state when you were a kid but the society makes us believe that we need to think and we need to reason our way out of it we need to we need to experience something deep we need to keep thinking we need to keep uh, addictive thinking you know addictive emotions we need to experience strong painful emotions or maybe we need to work hard or maybe we need to have some drama in our life that makes our life meaningful all this is a resistance right isn't it? in a way all of this is a resistance so i hope this video helps and uh, just let me know what you think about it all right see you bye bye